Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow or thereabouts. Let's just see what comes up. So let's. This is could be for the tenth or right around. You know, because the timing is fluid. The timing is fluid. Oh hell. At this point, <laughs> uh, don't look good. So this is blocking. It's blocking a union. A union is being blocked or it's coming to an end. Coming to a halt. It's coming to a halt. There's no moving forward. There could be a breakup. I mean, I, I, I can't. You saw them come out. They fell out. It's a fallout. Okay, it's a fallout. And it happened suddenly. They fell out suddenly. There's a disconnection, right? There's a disconnection. It's like there's a lack of communication. Somebody isn't communicating effectively. Somebody is shutting down communication or they're just not communicating. Um, we do have a union or a partnership that is going downhill fast. And that is what this is. I and mean, that is what this is. We have a partnership that is going downhill fast. Could be at work, could be at home. There's no compatibility, there's an argument, there's a disagreement, or there's a disconnection. Something like that. I don't know. Could be at work. Could be at home. Oh, whoo! Well, somebody is absolutely not communicating. Withdrawn. Somebody is withdrawing communication and they're not giving love. Not mastering their emotions, just not talking. Nope. Ooh! Yeah. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Ah. Uh, so, this is something coming to the surface, something being shown. This is something being revealed. And somebody's definitely not happy about it. Speechless. I am. Wow. 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 So this is somebody that is withdrawing from a partnership. They're not communicating. They're shutting down their emotions. They're shutting down their feelings. They're shutting down their heart. There is some element of truth here with the moon reversed. And somebody has been trapped in prison but they can escape they can escape somebody has been really really thinking about the truth they have they've been thinking about the truth they've been thinking about revealing the truth about something but there's no communication here Ooh. Unable to heal, unable to evolve. This person has been going back and forth and back and forth. Frustrated as well. We have somebody here that is very, very frustrated. They, It's like they can't evolve. They can't evolve because they can't escape. This is an escape and this is like they can't escape the truth. You cannot escape the truth. You can't. You, you will keep having imbalance, imbalance. You will keep having disharmony <laughs> by masking the truth in addictions. Whew. 
Now, this is a card of forgiveness. This is a card of forgiveness. It's a card of recovery. It's a card of healing. This is lack of healing. This is somebody maybe uh, wanting to heal their heart. They may be wanting to come together with somebody to to heal because this is healing, healing. But this could be a rejection. The temperance reverse. This is uh, unable to change. It's like this person can't change. There's definitely some addictions here. Addictions, addictions. They may need to go into rehab. Honestly, there could be somebody needs to go into rehab. Somebody may be overdoing it, you know, with the, in the alcohol drug department. Just saying. They could actually fall down. Somebody could fall down. They could collapse. Somebody has really been trying to escape their truth, escape reality with addictions, drugs, alcohol, whatever, codependency, whatever it is. Somebody has been trying to escape reality. But the Eight of Wands reverse, this is like, whew, done. Putting a stop to it all. Something is putting a stop to it all. Somebody could be feeling guilty. This is feeling, somebody could be feeling guilty about... The choices that they made. The decision. There's consequences. This is a card of choices. It's a card of illusion. And it's a card of consequences. Somebody may be feeling guilty about the choices that they made. And they're thinking about the choices that they made. Somebody made some poor decisions. Very poor. And now there's chaos and there's upheaval and there could be, they could be in a financial mess or a financial uproar. Somebody made some poor financial decisions anyway, or poor decisions, period. Somebody made some poor decisions. There's, they're lacking balance now. There's lack of, uh, organization. Everything is a fucking mess. There we go again. I'm sorry. Somebody made a poor choice and they're feeling guilty. Now things have turned upside down because of the choices that they've made. Everything is a complete. It's chaos. It's chaos. But this is lack of communication. It's the end of a union, an end of a partnership. There's a disconnection in, in a union. Because somebody didn't act with integrity. Somebody was a coward. Somebody had a lot of pride. Did that ego get in the way? And there's now there's a lack of healing. There's a lack of growth. There's a lack of happiness. Somebody is really unhappy with the choices and the decisions that they have made. And they're thinking about it heavily. The three of swords reversed is, is, is healing. Let me focus this in. It's healing. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's forgiveness. It's releasing pain. So somebody may be wanting forgiveness, but they're unable to communicate self-medicating themselves for sure and you can self-medicate yourself in many ways there is definitely self-medicating here cold we definitely have somebody here that is cold it looks to me as though this person is upset this person knows what they need to do. They do. They know what they need to do. But they don't have the courage to do so.
they see this this person sees that they were living a lie or they see that they did did the they made the wrong choice they see that they know that they know that but they are in some sort of prison mental prison that they cannot step out of they can't do it they can't they're weak definitely weak we have somebody here that is weak in character they are they're weak in character and they are very unhappy and unfulfilled they don't have balance they don't have harmony they have not healed they can't heal. They can't even change. It's like they, they refuse to change because they keep self-medicating themselves. It's the easiest route. They are just taking the easiest route. High Priestess. Somebody knows. Somebody could be dealing with a high priestess. This person, this person, somebody, this is, I know. I know what is up. Don't think I don't. This is seeing a situation clearly. Somebody's intuition is absolutely telling them, telling them what they need to do. But this person cannot communicate. They cannot This person is trying to use their non-communication as a form of power. It's like a power trip. This person also knows that the person that they are dealing with uh, sees the situation clearly. Watching, observing, about having a very, very, very hard time communicating. Exhausted. We have somebody here that is mentally exhausted. It's like they don't like what they see. They don't like what they hear. But they're, they're, it's like they're paralyzed. They cannot make a move because of their cowardly ways. They're weak. They're weak in character. They have a shitty character. And they won't be able to heal. There's lack of healing, lack of healing, lack of healing. All three of these cards. This person can't heal until they communicate it's just the way it is you have to do the right thing it's called integrity and that's what karma is you will not heal there will continue to be unhappiness and there will continue to be no growth and there will continue to be no imbalance and there will continue to be disharmony and there will continue to be disconnections and loss of abundance until you make a better choice We have somebody here that is not following their heart. And why is not this person following their heart? Why is this person not following their heart? Why is this person not following their heart? <laughs> because they're afraid to be rejected. Fear of being rejected. But this person made a poor decision. And there's consequences for that. They involved another person when they shouldn't have another woman. This is another woman. 
very poor decision. Especially when you're dealing with the fucking Empress, you fucking fool. <laughs> Anyhow. This person is glowing. This person is beautiful. This person is abundant. This person has life experience and has went through a lot of pain and suffering. She knows her value and she knows her worth. And she is about to give birth to a new life. This person is about to give birth to a new life. So we, we have this one person up here that has made a poor decision and they are feeling guilty. They know that the person that they are dealing with has healed. This person has experienced the pain. They have delivered the pain. This person is glowing. This person is a creator. This person is abundant and this person is beautiful. One more card. One more card. What is this day about anyway? What is this day about? We have this person that can't communicate. They're not following their heart because they will they be rejected? Will they be rejected by this person will they be rejected will they be rejected dear god angels spirits and universe will they be rejected six of swords six of swords is moving on transition of swords reversed and this is one of my favorite decks I use it all the time seven of swords there there will will they be rejected be careful be careful you they will be they will be rejected if they don't tell the truth Four of Cups. Too late. It's too late. It is. It's too late. Keep going. Don't waste your time. It's too late. One more card. <laughs> One more card. What advice do you have for the person that made the poor decision? What advice do you have for the person... We're actually going to get two more cards. What advice do you have for the person that made the poor decision? There's an opportunity for love. Big love. But you're going to have to open your heart and follow your heart.
This, this, what do you have for the Empress? What advice do you have for the Empress? Ten of Pentacles. This is prosperity, legacy, abundance, stability, security, comfortable, home. You have an opportunity, oh my God, to build a home with somebody. This is, this is, uh, having it all. This is having a very comfortable establishment, abundance. There's an opportunity to have abundance for the Empress. <laughs> if she doesn't go back and let herself be controlled and manipulated and taken advantage of. We have somebody here that wants to go back, but they really, really don't have the courage to do so. They want to go home. They want to go home to their empress. They want to go home to the one who took care of them. And they know it's too late. They know it's a lost opportunity. But this is a reconciliation or a new love. There is an opportunity for a reconciliation or a new love. A resurgence of love, an out, but you would have to open up your heart. Big, big. But you would have to go for it. You would have to go. You'd have to take that fucking ride. But somebody is dealing with a real coward, a narcissist. Who is very cold what is this man going to do he is going to end a relationship let people go let go of a friendship or let go of people that have been blocking him he maybe his friends or his family or something this is the end of you know socializing with the, those people and going after wish fulfillment so wh whoever this masculine is i feel like this masculine is about to this is the end of a relationship with friends or family and go after wish fulfillment. So that's a big choice. So I feel like we do have somebody that is moving. Somebody that is moving on. They are moving on from the other person. The third. Into wish fulfillment. It's like I want this blessing. I want this big love. This is somebody from the past. This is a reconciliation with somebody from the past. Should this person find their character? <sighs> to make the right choice, whatever that choice is. This is a choice in love. This is a decision. This is a card of love heals. 
but be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice because this is another card of consequences. We do have two people coming together here. And I feel, I feel as though with this card, there's a, there's, there's two choices. There's new love or past love, new love or past love. What's it going to be? What does your heart want? Lovers are coming together. Don't keep repeating the same mistakes. For example, let me just give you an example. Say you lost your wife to one of your friends and you wanted her back. This is just an example. And you wanted her back, but it was too late. You want to go through that again? That's just an example. So somebody is coming together with a lover. Choose wisely. Good luck. Good luck. 